Colleen, are you there? I am, Andrea. Oh. Hi. H how are you today, Cole? Um, oh, do you know what? I'm a bit like you. I think the shock has hit in more today, really. The, the overwhelming, just sadness of it all. But at the same time, like Lisa said, looking at the people of Manchester last night on the news and on social media, this outpouring of love from total strangers gives you hope that we, you know, through all this hatred that's going on, there is so much love out there, and that's what's going to get us through as well as a nation. You know, you do feel selfish, feeling sad and guilty, really, because you think, how, how do those parents that have lost those children feel or lost their loved ones? Mm. But I think it's, an, it's a natural instinct because it, instantly you go... That could have been my child. We've all dressed our kids up to go off to a concert. We've all bought them those tickets as Christmas presents or birthday mm. presents. And it's so... It, it's just unbearable to think about, really. How, how's Kira? How's she um, handling this? Whew, well, Kira has always been the strong one, actually, through all of these atrocities. When I was... When I was the one saying, oh, God, I'm a bit scared about, you know, going to the Trafford Centre or going to the MEN, for instance. We were there three weeks ago, and I was nervous then because, I don't know. I, I, but she was like, Mom, you know, we have to... You can't let them win, and we have to carry on, and we've got to carry on with life. But actually, yesterday, um, I was meant to be taking Kira on Saturday to... This Saturday to a show in town at one of the theatres, and for the first time ever, she turned around and said to me, I don't want to go. Because mm. I'm scared. Uh, Colleen, mm. didn't she have two friends at the concert? She had two of her school friends, yeah, were actually at the concert. Um, thankfully, uh, managed to escape. Um, one didn't go into school yesterday, the other one did, but was in just crying and sobbing most of the day at school. Um, because although they managed to escape, the things they saw were just horrific. You know, people lying there in blood and kids and... And something that, you know, we've got to be aware of because it's going to affect people mm. for the rest of their lives, yeah, yeah, what yeah. they saw. Yeah. And, and there was talk as well um, in Kira's school, wasn't there, that obviously a lot, of, a lot of teenagers are coming up to exam time now, that the exams oh. are going to be put back. Is that still oh, the yeah. case? Well, Kira's, Kira's year, they're kind of halfway, nearly halfway through their GCSEs. Yeah. And there was talk of postponing them for a week or two. Um, obviously because of this and because it how it's affected the kids, but actually the kids have decided that they want to carry on and continue to do and finish their GCSEs, oh. um, which I'm really proud of them for, you know. But I also, I mean, today, you know, I've come off any form of social media because yeah, it scares you, you know. And, and I think when people are writing things on social media, please be aware that kids read all of this as well. Mm. Yes. You know, and you have to be aware of that because now we do, obviously, but, you know, we have to tell them that it is a dangerous world we live in, but let's yeah. protect them as well because there's a lot of, understandably, outpourings of hate and... Yeah, you know, there's, a, there's a lot of emotion around at the moment, Colleen, emotions. mixed emotions. Yeah, totally mixed emotions, which I get, but... And anger, which yeah. I understand, but we're more... You know what? We're a nation that is so much more intelligent than these people will ever be. Well, um, Colleen, give Kira an extra tight cuddle from us and you look after yourself. I will do, and I'll see okay. you all soon.